Let's quickly review how to edit an item in every stem. We'll start on the summary page. You can hover over the name of an item and the text color will change from black to teal. You can click on it and by clicking on the item's name, you can make the edit item modal appear. This gives you the option to remove the item from all of the pages in this event. Click the copper remove button and this item will no longer appear on any of the pages in your event. You cannot edit the item information from the summary page, but you can remove it from the event this way. Let's move over to one of the working pages in the event, one of the pages with your recipes. If you're on any of these pages, you can click on the name of any flower or item and bring up the edit item modal. On these pages, unlike the summary page, you are able to edit the item's name, vendor name, price, markup, stem or bunch, and stems per pack information. This information will only be saved in the event in which you are working and not in the library if you change it here. You can also delete the item from just the page you are working on by clicking the copper remove button at the bottom of the edit item modal. If you want to edit the information for an item going forward, let's say the price has changed and it's going to affect all of the future events. All of your future flower orders need to be adjusted. That's when you'll want to click over to the library. Search for the item you want to edit in the search box and then click the edit button at the far right. Change the item's information and then finally click the teal submit button. You want to do this process before you create new events if you've gotten updated pricing from your wholesaler or your item information has changed. This process is the one you'll use to change this information. Let's note that new events use the most recent information you've entered for a flower or item into the library, including the price. When a flower or item's information is changed in the library, it will only affect the items you create after that change has been made. It will not change your existing or old events. When a flower or item's information has been changed in an event, it will not also be automatically updated in the library. So in order to make a permanent change that affects all your new events that you haven't created yet, you'll want to change the item's information in the library. If it's a one-time change, say the price has gone up for an existing event, you can just change it in the event that you are working on and it will be unchanged for future events. This ensures that every event contains the information that you entered at the time you entered it. Historical pricing information can be very useful and we want your pricing and ordering history to be accurate. Accurate pricing is essential to powering your profitability. Let us know if you have any questions about editing your items in every stem.